Let's use page 209, number 44, as an example. Each function, f of x, changes value when x changes from x naught to x naught plus delta x. Find the change delta f, the approximation estimate df, the approximation error delta f minus df. So in this problem, what we're asked to do is to find the true change in the function, delta f, we're asked to find the differential approximation of that change in the function, df. And then at the end, we're asked to find the difference in those two values as a positive number so that we can see how good a job the differential is doing at approximating the true change in the function. So in problem number 44, our function is x cubed minus 2x plus 3. We're starting at x naught, and the increment on the x-axis dx is 0.1. So to find delta f, we need to find two function values first. I need to know f of 2, and so I need to plug 2 into the function, and you should take a moment and do that, but you'll find out that f of 2 is 7. And then I need to know f of 2.1, because x is changing from 2 to 2.1, right? That's the change in x there on the x-axis. So we have to plug 2.1 into the function and again take a moment to do that, but you will find out that f of 2.1 is 8.061. So delta f, which is the second y value minus the first y value, is 1.061. In part b, we're asked to find dy using these same values. So I need to take a derivative. I'll need to evaluate my derivative at x naught, so f prime of two. And let's see, uh, two squared is four times three is 12 minus two is 10. So dy at the point in question is simply 10 times dx 0 0.1 is 1. The actual change in function value as we change from x is 2 to x is 2.1 is about 1.061. The tangent line only rises one unit. And so in part c, I compare these two values, what your author has called in the problem the approximation error. And I find out that 1.061 minus 1 would just be 0 0.061, the difference in the two values. And I look at that and I say, well, that's a very small error. The differential is doing a good job of approximating the error in the, not the error, but the change in the function. Um, more importantly than that, it's telling us the linearization is doing a good job of standing in place of the function that if we wanted to look at a very small interval on the x-axis, we could use the linearization, the standard linear approximation in place of the function.